I talked to my lawyer again, and um, he said that he's going to contest the second competency evaluation, but um, I only have a right to two different competency eva evaluations, so um, he thinks that I'm not going to be arrested. So um, he thinks that he can have me do outpatient, and he's very certain about it. Um, I told him um, that I feel like his office is against me and that the real problem with my court case is his office because that's the reason I'm dealing with this competency stuff. And I asked him, where did you get my freaking psychiatrist that did this evaluation? Like, how in the world did you pick such a bad psychiatrist if you were actually my lawyer? And he said, I didn't pick your psychiatrist. I just sent an email to everyone in my office and someone told me, pick this psychiatrist. So he open sourced it when he thought that I was telling the truth. He thought I was competent. He thought I might be telling the truth about a drug lab. He might think that Colorado Springs might be the number one place where drugs in the world come from, where people want to kill us in this town because of those drugs. People have tried for decades to ruin those drugs. So he thinks that I'm competent. So he asks his, his entire office because no one in the office it's impossible that the general office is, is, is not trustworthy. He knows they're trustworthy. He works there. Okay, so he didn't pick my evaluator. I'm just saying, like, in the entire world, it's, it's like, I know I could find an evaluator that will say that I'm competent. And if you're actually my lawyer, how in the world did you not find a lawyer, find a, an evaluator that will say I'm competent? And I, I, he, I told him, I was like, do you know why... Competency is constitutional. I said it's because you have a right to a fair trial. Because if I don't understand the situation I'm in, if I don't even know who the defense, who, who, who's, who's coming at me, I don't understand the judge's role in the case, I don't understand the situation, I don't know who anyone is, I can't do basic things because I have a brain problem, then I need help. I won't have a fair trial because I won't be able to help in my defense. And so competency is so I can have a fair trial, but now I'm getting punished like triple because I can't have a freaking trial. Like, and so it's like, no, you're getting treated fairly. You're getting punished double before you even have, a tr have, have your freaking trial. Trust me, it's fair because you're incompetent because you can't help in your defense. And it's like, dude, what? Okay, so you're gonna sit me down for psychotherapy for like, what, a year? And you're going to convince me that this guy that handed me a loaded pistol and didn't tell me it was loaded and then shot a cap gun, that was a hallucination. And all the psychiatrist needs to do, because I'm not going to get, get medicated, all the psychiatrist needs to do is convince me that I was hallucinating. And if they can just convince me that I was hallucinating, which th for an entire year you're going to convince me that I'm hallucinating, yeah, no one's going to kill me during that year. I promise. Yeah. Do you know how many years I go without someone trying to kill me? Like, do you know how, how many years I go without bomb threats? Do you know how many years I go without, sh like, crazy shit happening? Um, zero. I never go an entire year. So while you're doing your therapy, I'm going to come in one day and be like, you see, someone just tried to kill me. And then you're going to go, okay, look, at, look, Alex, you think that, but that's because you were hallucinating. And once you accept that this guy didn't hand you a loaded pistol and shoot a cap gun, that this guy that invited you to an orgy... He works for the Mexicans. It doesn't mean he's a cop. He's actually working for the cartel. Your good buddy, he's cartel. People are cartel. That's just a part of life. Once you accept that and you, you, you say, I accept that I was wrong about everything. West Texas wasn't a drug lab. No one murders my people ever. I'm not in the middle of the war on terrorism and on so many freaking levels. Like if there's anyone who's involved with the war on terrorism on like the, the FBI level, the Al-Qaeda level, the freaking Muslim Brotherhood level, the freaking Hezbollah level, not Hamas, but who knows who I know from Fatah who, or Hamas that's in the West Bank. I mean, really, really, seriously. So all I'm saying is once I admit this to the psychiatrist, then they'll let me go to court in that way. My defense is going to be that I was mentally ill. My defense is that I was hallucinating and everything's fine now. So I'm in. Okay. So does that mean I'm innocent by means because of insanity, but then it's on my permanent record. So I can never have a job again in security. So my master's degree is like completely pointless now. 
Like it's like that's the thing about Friday. Like on Friday, my master's degree is pointless because I have a psychiatric hold from a court, from a judge, that's like based on psychiatrists, and th those judges are gonna say that like I'm so in I'm I'm like incompetent, like I am like that mentally ill that I'm like fully disabled. I'm a disabled person. So like if I do a gun, if I try to get a gun, it'll show up. But if I try to get a job, like in where like it's what I do, I can't do that. So now I have to stop being a cybersecurity person. I can maybe be an IT person. Then I, I have to learn how to do new IT stuff because my whole thing is that I do cybersecurity. Like my, that's my specialty. Like I don't know how to do like general IT, but I do, but like I'd have to learn still. So like by because I, I need to be treated fairly in order to help me because I, they don't want me to be punished extra. They're going to make sure that my entire life's ruined. Like after all that, like after the shit I've done for the, for this country, like after, like, I mean, seriously, like, dude, like that, that's what, that's the, that's the thing about like the shit I've done for this country and how like you guys have done nothing for this fucking country. Like you don't even fucking know what it is to sacrifice. And then it's like, then you guys are in charge. You get all the money. I work for free because I fucking love my country.